coming on there. Okay, hi. Uh, I, 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 it's Pod Spinsky. Yeah, uh, Pod Lloyd or whatever you want to call me. Uh, well, I wanted to talk about uh, the fact that when I lived in Tampa and went to high school, if you count the, 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 the half-year senior high school class of philosophy I had, then I had into my fourth year of philosophy classes. Uh, there were like eight or nine college philosophy or and or religion classes I took and every quarter from like graduating high school to uh, the first through the first quarter of the third year there was a philosophy religion class taken at the junior level and uh, so I, I didn't take all the other whole regime though you know that I couldn't brain and handle it with a schizophrenia just half time two classes instead of four so uh, but one was philosophy every quarter and something else in there it just maybe biology or whatever you know, math, algebra, and stuff, but uh, at the time, but uh, so I want to talk about the history of religion since civilization. You know, I mean, what that we know is, you know, from written records that exist that have been radiocarbon dated in different religions at the different ages. I want to go into a little bit of a discussion of this. Uh, okay, so so the modern day religions are, are, are now it's like Christmas time. So Merry Christmas to you of the Christian faith. And uh, it's also Hanukkah time of year for our Jewish faith f citizen friends. So we say happy Hanukkah to them. And uh, and it's also Ramadan, I understand. I understood in the uh, Muslim faith, the high point, their high points or the high point of their year in December too. So happy Ramadan to the Muslim faith community who well, may be watching. But, uh, and uh, so, so these religions though, when I studied them, uh, I refreshed myself recently on it. Uh, Muslim, the, the 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 Old Testament of the, the Christian Bible, or, or the, the 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 Bible and the Judea, Judaism faith, was the, the Old Testament of the New the Christian Bible. Uh, but uh, that document was the histories of generations that it lists to people who supposedly uh, we are told lived and you know died lived a long time and you know so but they have a common uh, people in them muslim was a descendant of the, the the judaism i think it was abraham for the person the man's name who was like a a, a powerful person and his, his offspring started a splinter group that became muslim religion and this was before christianity so then Christianity came along later, and, and Muslim had uh, also developed in, in, in the Persia parts of the world, which is an interesting. Uh, something I was going to say there was before in that part of the world, uh, Muslim existed was Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrianism. Z-O-R-O-A-S something. But but so I remember studying that, and uh, so I looked it up, and it predates Muslim in Persia, which is... Iran and Iraq and those parts of the world today. Uh, so uh, they were the older parts of civilization were, were, were known to be there. For instance, when Persia was there in the old days, uh, there was a, a, a famous poet, author, philosopher known, name known as Rumi, R-U-M-I. His writings are rather uh, interesting for the way the world looked back then when they didn't have automobiles and taxi cabs, they had camels and camel drivers. They write about you know I mean so so uh, so 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 Zoroastrianism predates Muslim in Persia, but but also you know an interesting I tidbit I wanted to mention while I did watch television prior to twenty years ago, uh, for those thirty years over the cow's potato and watched headline network news incessantly to see anything new going on and and and, and they announced one day on the news oh, this was like twenty or so years more years ago, thirty years ago I don't know. And and, and uh, that that remember the old president of Iraq that was uh, captured or whatever and saw, uh, hung or whatever I don't know what the hell happened but who knows why things happened but but Saddam Hussein that one time they said in the news before he became an enemy of the United States that he was doing something good in the desert of Iraq in a secret location he was having excavated archaeologically the gardens of Babylon which existed in his country at that period of time 
in the beginning, a year, thousands of years ago, you know. And then you get to Tibetan Buddhists, who are older yet. They have written documents that have been radiocarbon dated at 10,000 years old, you know. So, uh, and then Buddhism uh, predating them is, is Tantra. The original religion that I understand was uh, Tantra, it was called, which turned into Tantriana Buddhism, which was the third branch of Buddhism, uh, which used sexuality as, a, as techniques uh, or uh, sutras, they called them, or techniques in sexuality for uh, transcendental purposes, spiritually transcendental purposes. So uh, that was Tantra. And the Book of the Secrets, like by the Bhagwan Sri Ra's niche in the 1980s, if you can, I don't think it's in print anymore. But, uh, but, uh, so, uh, but then Tan Buddhism came along and, and Tibetan Buddhism was, was the forerunner of Buddhism, I guess, and, and as far as Buddhism went, but, uh, but, uh, Buddhism had three branches, the, the, the Mahayana or the, the truth versus illusion in this world we live in. And, and, and then there was the Bodhisattva for those who were enlightened, who rather than transcend and, I guess, die and just go on to another spiritual plane. They remain in this world for the benefit of enlightenment of others, the Bodhisattvas, Buddhists. And, and the Tantra Yana uses uh, somehow sexuality and sexual yoga uh, techniques for uh, uh, enlightenment, uh, attainment. So uh, th that's Buddhism. And world religion, in a nutshell, has gone on for like uh, 10,000 or more years of recorded, provable, documents, radiocarbon dated documents, you know, so where the Bible, the Deo Christian Bible, they all want to argue, you know, I don't understand why they're arguing, you know, you know, and they think you can have turn the United States into a Christian country. It's not meant to be. Why do you think they put the religion, freedom of religion clause in there? They, they recognize everybody's different and everybody has a right to be uniquely themselves. A philosophy basically is just a belief system. A religion defined from a philosophy would have a deity or deities involved in it, a deity formation format to it. Uh, so, uh, so you know, but why do people have to argue? You know, I mean, we're all the same. If we can't agree that before we're anything, Hindu, Buddhist, or, or, or Christian, or whatever, I mean, Republican, Democrat, or whatever the fuck, you know, I mean, before you're anything, you're a human being. Like, we're all equal in that. And we're not even equal in that because our heredities are all different. Our DNAs are all different. So there is no actual being equal. And then we live and die. And that's the only thing we have equal in this life. You know, so. Uh, so you can believe what you want to believe as far as I'm concerned. Peace and love, you know, I mean, but uh, that's a little bit of a civilization of history, of civilization of religion. So it all goes back before what exists today and uh of course, no religion is a valid uh, philosophy, too. It's called atheism, I guess. Uh, from atheism to Zoroastrianism, it's Podzabinsky. See ya. See ya. Peace and love. Across the room to shut the computer off. Have a nice day or night, wherever you're at in your day or night. Bye now.